Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese Metaphysics Master in Hong Kong. Today we're going to take a look at the monthly flying stars for the month of May, the month of the fire snake, Ding Si. And according to the Chinese calendar, this month will last from the 6th of May all the way to the 5th of June. Now, the flying stars for this particular month are somewhat special in that all the flying stars are actually flying back into their original palaces, which means that every single one of these monthly flying stars is extra strong, right? So um, we can take extra note of the really positive sectors of the month and hopefully make special use of them. All right. So let's take a look at what we can expect. Some of these sectors are really, really amazing. So we will start with the south sector where we have the uh, monthly number nine. Now, this is a great star because it brings sort of happiness and hope and celebratory events. So if you want to just feel a little bit more hopeful, if you've been a little bit down these days and you just want to feel uh, to get your mojo back, so to speak, then spend as much time as you can in the south sector of your home, yeah? And uh, again, by the way, for those who are seeing this for the first time, uh, identifying the sectors is really, really easy. Just stand in the center of your home, uh, use a compass, and then just go according to what the compass says, yeah? You will be able to identify northeast, southwest, and so on quite easily. And that's pretty much it. It's that simple, right? So back to the south sector. Now, uh, aside from just happy events and happy moments, this is also very, very good uh, sector for business. Now, if you are working from home, this would be an ideal sector to put yourself in because um, this brings a good chance to collaborate for partnerships. It's also a good sector if you want a promotion, for example, because obviously a promotion is a celebratory event. So um, just generally speaking, it will help you with all sorts of business related matters, career related matters, and even your finances. And if your master bedroom happens to be in the south sector, even better. Yeah, this is a great energy to have there. It will enhance intimacy and uh, just generally enhance the relationship with your spouse. Now, the other really, really good sector I want to point out is the north sector. Here we have the monthly star number one. Now, aside from the fact that this star itself is a great star to have, it also forms a combination of 10 with the annual star. And whenever we see something like this, uh, we know that this sector is extra prosperous and it's really, really auspicious for anything related to uh, partnerships, business deals. Uh, it can bring increased cash flow and increased opportunities, right? So this is ideal. Again, if you are working from home, and for some reason you can't use the south sector, then use the north sector, that's also great. If the north sector is your main door, that's also great, you don't need to do anything because every time you open that door, uh, these energies are naturally being activated. Now the number nine monthly star uh, on its own is a great star if you want to look for nobleman help. So noble people is a concept in Chinese metaphysics uh, that describes people who are helpful to us in life, whether that's in personal life or whether that's in our career. Yeah, maybe sometimes we need a mentor or someone who just uh, pushes us or promotes us even within the company. Yeah, they hold our back. Or maybe you just need to pick up the phone and call a friend and uh, just vent. And being in the North sector enables you to actually connect with those people who can help you the best. It's also a great academic sector. So if you need to study for something, you can do that in the North sector. It will enhance your ability to absorb new, uh, new knowledge. And obviously, if you are looking for a new teacher or for someone who is tutoring you or um, just a mentor, then you can also use the North sector. So this is overall a great sector to be in. Now, the other good sector is the Northeast, where we have the monthly uh, wealth star. Now, from next year onwards, this is not considered a wealth star anymore, not on an annual basis or on a monthly basis, but this year it's still considered somewhat of a wealth star. So if you want to increase your cash flow, then use the Northeast sector for that. Now, if you are um, if you are a business owner, then it's better to use the South or the North. 
if you are an employee, the Northeast sector would be better because that could bring um, maybe a, 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 a bonus or an extra commission or whatever, but you actually have to work hard for the money that you're earning for that extra cash flow. So the number eight is a wealth star, but the wealth only comes with extra work. Whereas the number nine and the number one are more uh, energies that make the money work for you, right? So there's a bit of a distinction there. But let's say if you want to plan your budget for the rest of the year, or maybe you even just already want to look into next year, uh, or you just want to consolidate your finances or do anything finance related in general, then the Northeast sector would be a good place to do that from. And then lastly, we've got the Southeast sector where we have the number four star. Now this is both an academic star and the peach blossom star. So for those of you single and looking, spend more time in the Southeast sector, right? Because there you've got the energies that can bring potential opportunities, potential partners into your life. Whether or not you then pick the right one, that's up to you, but the opportunities will come, right? So if you want to maybe call up a crush and invite them on a date, or you're maybe into online dating, then do all the swiping from the Southeast sector. Um, if you are sleeping in the Southeast sector, even better, yeah, because these uh, energies help you as well. So this is a great sector for all those who are single. Now, if you are in a relationship, the South sector works better. Uh, however, you can use the monthly number four for academic purposes, right? So if you have children and they are uh, maybe not so keen on homework, I mean, what children are, um, but if you want to ensure that they, they really absorb the knowledge, that they really do their homework and that they, it's easier for them to pick up a new skill or a new knowledge, then the Southeast sector would be the best for that. It's also a great sector if you need to prepare for an exam, of course. All right. Now, uh, the sectors that are so-so and uh, that we may be a little bit careful of. First one is the Northwest sector. Now, this one is not too bad, but we're just generally this year a little bit weary of the Northwest sector because we've got the annual number five there. But Overall, if as long as you don't do any hammering, any drilling or any moving around of furniture in the north -est, Northwest, you can actually use this sector as well this month. Now, the number six flying star is particularly good for career related uh, activities. So let's say you want uh, you're looking for a new job. So you could write your CV in the Northwest. You could um, browse the internet to see what's out there in terms on, of, of the job market. You could email your CV out to uh, potential companies that would be hiring you. Yeah, So this can all be done for, from the Northwest. Also, if you uh, take an interview, maybe over Zoom or by phone, you can do this in the Northwest sector. So specifically anything that has to do with career advancement or a change of career can be done in the Northwest sector. Now, if you are already in a career, you're fine. It doesn't really, you don't need, really need to look for anything else. The Northwest sector can still help you gain more authority and make sure that your, uh, that your words are being heard, right? Sometimes uh, we have a feeling that, well, whatever I say, nobody's listening. So if you want to increase uh, your authority and your status, your reputation, then you can do that uh, by just placing yourself in the Northwest sector as much as possible. Now, the West sector has the number seven. Now, this one here is called the Discord star. Sometimes it's called the robbery star. Um, obviously, as the names imply, it's not the, the, the greatest energy to deal with. However, if you are in metaphysics, such as myself, then this is actually a good start. This is the one we use um, for work. It enhances our affinity with metaphysics. But if you are not in a metaphysics field or in the metaphysics industry, then this number seven, if you spend too much time there, it can bring sort of tension between you and the people uh, that live in the same household, or if your desk is located in the West sector within a company, then you may feel that there's some un unexpected or unexplained tension between you and your co-workers. Now, nothing to be too worried about, right? You just have to be a bit careful and don't just pick a fight with everyone around you and you will be fine, right? So um, this just, it's it brings some tension. And I would say 
Uh, if you do happen to be in a position where maybe your desk or your bed is located in the, in the West sector, uh, really be careful with what you say this month. Um, careful how you say things when you say them, because you may be uh, extra direct, extra sharp. Yeah, so be careful. Also, this particular energy can bring some fire hazards. So I would say for this particular month, maybe don't light too many candles in the West if you can avoid it. It's just for this month, yeah, to avoid fire hazard. That's all. Now, uh, the next one we have here is the number three in the East sector. Now, the number three is considered an argument star. Uh, but it also helps you negotiate, yeah, because an argument is just a very heated negotiation. And if you can try to make it less heated, then it's just a negotiation. So depending on how you um, how you communicate, this can actually be a, a positive star. Now, generally speaking, as I said, because it's considered an argument star, um, uh, if you happen to have your desk here or if you happen to sleep here, if this is your master bedroom, then again, avoid arguments. Try not to pick every single fight that's out there. Uh, you yourself may feel like everybody is rubbing you the wrong way and you just want to pick a fight with everyone. Just try not to uh, just try not to take everything so personal. Right now, if you are someone, on the other hand, who feels a bit shy, in front of other people and who um, doesn't really like to speak up but you know in may i have a situation coming up where i really actually need to defend my opinion i need to stand stand up for myself then it's a good sector to use because it will help you negotiate better it it will help you speak up on your own behalf right so don't be too afraid of this particular energy. It can help you as well. So it depends on what your needs are. Now, the only thing I would say uh, to avoid is don't sign any legal documents in the East sector, either of your home or your office. Uh, you can do that anywhere else, but just not in the East sector, because you may overlook certain details that then in the long run create legal problems. And of course, we want to avoid that. And then lastly, we have the uh, the number two a monthly star. This is considered the illness star. So if you are generally a healthy person, if you're quite young, if you're quite fit, you're in good shape, not a problem at all. Yeah, I wouldn't worry at all about this particular energy. I would say those who may want to be a little bit careful and may want to avoid this sector, avoid sleeping there at least, are people who are um, chronically ill or maybe just recovering from an illness um, or those uh, who are, if you have a woman in your house who is pregnant, especially the early trimester, the first trimester, then this may not be the best sector to spend too much time in or to actually sleep in. And also babies and infants, yeah, because they're quite sensitive to, to health issues. So these categories of people should probably avoid spending too much time in the Southwest sector. And by too much time, I mean two hours or more per day, right? Uh, now, if you just can't avoid being there because maybe that's your bedroom and you don't have any other bedroom, um, then just avoid any moving around the furniture don't have a water feature there uh, don't do any hammering or drilling for the for the duration of this particular month yeah and then you will be fine all right so these are the flying stars for the month of may the ding si month now i hope you all take note of particularly the south and the north sector and i hope that you actually manage to uh take advantage of the energies we have there this month if you have any questions, of course, as always, just put them in the comments section below or contact me directly. My email address is in the notes to the are is in the notes to this video. And please smash that like button. Please share the video with anybody who may be interested. And please subscribe to my channel. I'd super appreciate it. All right. See you guys soon.